Hey, bud. What you thinking? Don't worry, you're gonna be happy here for a couple of years. You'll be really happy here for a couple of years. Look how cute he is, right? He is so cute. Moved milk this morning down the other side of the chicken coop. I was planting fruit trees over here yesterday and realized this grass is just as good a condition as my other, so may as well have them come down here and eat this before I move them for the season. So we're planting our orchard down this whole side eventually, but right now I'm just working up in this top corner. And so we put milt over here to eat it down for us. This grass is a good six to eight inches. He works things down so well. And I'm hoping in a day and a half he'll have this eaten down. In the meantime, I can still plant my tree. I got one more here. Probably get another couple up top there. I've got uh, five more to plant. So even if I gotta adjust him this afternoon to the other side of this apple and ash stump I left there to plant the rest of them up in here, not a big deal. But happy cow. And he's got quite a big pasture, so hoping that he can, about a day and a half he'll be here. That's what I'm finding right now. I keep thinking I gotta move him every day, but he seems to work about a day and a half. So he's got all the way down, I don't know if you guys can see that fence right there, and then up and over. So it'd be kind of cool to look out from the kitchen and see the cow. That's right, Milt. Rip, 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 rip. But yeah, can't wait to expand the orchard this year. We got really good um, tree growth. <laughs> you having fun? This is good stuff. And so to see all this become orchard, and eventually the orchard will come all the way up top here. But then it'll take this entire side. So from about the wood line, those are apple trees there. All of this from that tree straight up about the poly line is going to be orchard. And then someday, God willing, over here will be our little vineyard. But for right now, 10 trees a year at a time. This is what we're doing all by hand. So after he eats this, then we'll be ready to move him up into here. And he'll get more fresh forage. Can't believe how fast the grass is growing this year. Amazing. And this is like regular mowed grass. Some some tall patches. And this is where animals were. Amazing. That's another one. <laughs> the new baby. Like... Yep. Season. Hey bud. Here he comes. Oh no, Ooh. I'm gonna lay down. <laughs> He's like, come on, Dino, don't want to get down. He's heavy. Um, probably weighs as much as me. <laughs> probably. <laughs> How cute. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh my goodness, honey. Oh my goodness, how adorable. Oh. <laughs> oh, sure. You have very long eyelashes, though. <laughs> yeah. You're so pretty. He's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like, come on. He's like, I'm running away. <laughs> yeah, he definitely could. Don't. So he said, people don't want this kind. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what, brand, what kind he said, I'll ask him. 
but uh, because they don't bottle um, bucket trains. Uh huh. So a lot of people, a lot of breeders don't get these ones. So you have to bottle feed them until they're eating grass. So I don't know. I don't know. It's just a rooster. Oh, so how long do you know? Doesn't have like a time. I, I heard four to six weeks, and mm -hmm. about a week and a half. Two weeks old now. Oh, okay. A rooster. A rooster. <laughs> Ooh, there he goes. Did you guys got another one? Come <laughs> in here for a minute. Let's see what he does. Come on. Instead of hiding him away, it's decent. Yeah, memory. it's nice out. He won't try to get out. No? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do they jump? I'm more concerned, like, on the side, see. Through the openings. <laughs> he's scared. Yeah, he's like, what? Yeah, what's like, what's, going, what's on? going on? There's just so much going on here. Aww. Bucket of water. He said he ate it. He fed him already tonight. He fed him. Yeah. Like, what is going on? You got another one? <laughs> good boy. Come on. Come on, good boy. Come on. That a boy. All right. So we just got our cow, our baby calf. Um, he's like a week and a half, about two weeks old. And we put him in the outside pen first, wanted to see how he did there. And um, he's, he's young, he knows nothing, and we just banded him today. So, he, he's, and he went for his first car ride. So he's, uh, he's not so sure right now, but he'll do good. Um, I think we're looking at maybe a possible possibly getting a second young one like this in a couple weeks god willing right but um yeah so this is where he'll be during uh evenings and feeding time during the morning and evening um if it's nice out we're gonna put him out in that pen and i'll get him halter broke by getting him back and forward to there and uh in and out of here um yeah so pretty exciting actually it's like it's neat uh I appreciate it, um, Jason, for, you know, hooking us up with this cow. Uh, he hayed my field last year, and so this was the payment. Uh, much obliged. It's <laughs> very appreciated. And uh, I'm looking forward to a good relationship there. Um, hard to believe we went from never having a cow to a two-year-old and a baby. <laughs> yeah, I kind of didn't even know. What do you think? See, this is perfect. This is what I was imagining so that I can feed him. So we could feed him on this side if we needed to or wanted to. And he can't quite get his legs up and over things yet, but even if he does, I, I guess he's in this room and doors will be closed and stuff, so he should be, oh, should be good. What do you think, Bubba? <laughs> it's amazing how like human friendly they are he just got no issues i can grab him touch him pick him up he's sort of just docile with it so kind of neat anyways really looking forward to learning more about these guys and cattle in general and um see where it goes from there i might decide later on it's not not me and I don't know. Something inside me wants to build up my own herd and 
start like more of an intensive grazing type of business than anything, but um, we'll see what the Lord brings. Alrighty. I'm not sure what else is going to be on this video right now. Probably going to edit this out. I don't know. I'm going to get maybe my chickens on pasture. Uh, I really am like cautious with doing that, but at the same time, we're getting the nice weather and it's things are growing and flies are out, so it'd be nice to have my chickens out eating good grass and and whatnot. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Today was a calf. I have no plans. I've got so much work to do. All right, so first morning, feeding our bottle calf here. And uh, I've never done this before, right? So I figured I'd capture this. He's ready to eat. Morning, bub. Good morning. <laughs> you hungry? I'm gonna go make you some breakfast. Okay? I'm gonna go make you some breakfast. Oh yeah, we're hungry. Good, good. So you want them nice and hungry. So take the bottle quickly. And so I gotta mix up some milk replacer and water, warm water, which I have. So I'll show you guys me doing that and feeding this cow with some music instead of me blabbing to my face. So I had to cut this tip because he just, we couldn't get the last pint out. I don't know if it's a suction thing with these bottles. I don't know what I don't know, unfortunately. So I'm going to go make him another bottle. One and a half of these things. He still seems a little hungry. 
I'm going to let him be for right now. We are going to feed him at lunch and in the evening, so he'll get some, you know, plenty of this stuff. And that'll give us a chance to figure this out. Cutting the, not, the tip of this definitely made a difference. He can actually get the last, like, pint out. Figure with this beautiful sunrise behind me. We'll just reflect here for a moment. So, having never done this before in my life, having never seen this done, having only read a little bit about it, I have too many roosters, I've discovered. Uh, but back to this. Um, it's interesting. It, it's like, when we try to replicate nature, it's never quite the same. This cow is sucking and sucking and sucking and getting nothing from this bottle. And it's like, what the heck, man? So I had to cut those tips wider so that as soon as it touches it, fluid will come out. And that helped a lot. Um, and so I don't know if I have to like do I have to cut those on everyone. It sure made it go faster and easier. So um, I guess we have to monitor him and see how he does. I've got to go over to the church this morning and do some work over there. It rained last night, it's perfect, and all I want to do is plant my garden right now. But um, I, I've committed to going and helping doing this thing. So we're going to be planting the garden here soon. So on that note, this is okay, kind of sucks, maybe it'll get easier, I hope. Anyways, I'm going to go have some coffee and head over and help out my church. Introducing these two for the first time. Okay. Is he okay, Mel? The annoying rooster attacks again. What do you think, babies? That's Milt. That's Milt. He's just like you. He's a beaver, too. He's a Holstein, though. And you're a brown Swiss. <laughs> Little brown Swiss calf, aren't you? Is that going to be your buddy, Milt? We just fed you. You're nice and happy. We went out for a walk, huh? It's good. You're getting... You look good today. We got him Friday and he just looks so... docile and not good. I don't know. He just didn't seem to be doing so well. Morning, Milt. Mill has done really. Mill has done really good on his pasture over there for us. What do you think, babes? We got some stuff planted yesterday that'll be in this video, and I've got a row ready right now. But I'm gonna go plant some touchstone gold beets, I believe. Oh, I've done this one kind of wide. Yesterday, after we planted, we planted uh, like one, two, three rows here. Two of them we did with wood chips and one we just covered with peat moss. And we're going to see what the germination rates are. Huh. So i got to go plant this. I'm going to do a whole row of beets here. We love those beets. Okay, boy. Come on. It's going to be nice today. It's going to be nice today. Oh, there's the bunnies and the roosters. Yeah, we got some playtime in us. Look, this is like a real farm now. Bunnies, roosters, cows. 
Oh, all we're missing is the spring pigs. The pig nets, huh? They come in a week or two. Yep, they said that we get them in the first two weeks of May. It's nice when they're cast at this point. Morning, ladies. We gotta get you out on grass, too. 